just uh, I just left the junior college. I just started back going to school this uh, this semester actually, and uh, going for my uh, my A and P. It's been years since I graduated. I graduated in '94, and then I uh, I went to junior college for for about a year, a couple semesters, and then I decided to take a break. And everybody was like, "No, don't do it. You won't go back." And I was like, "No, nah, just take a break for about a semester or so. Just a semester, basically, is what I was gonna do. Just take a short break." And they're like, "You won't go back." Of course I didn't. I should have listened to everybody. It was one of the stupidest mistakes I've ever made, you know, or stupidest decisions, I should say. And everybody's made bad decisions in their lives. But, um, so I was going for my art degree then. Um, now, like I said, I'm going for my A&P. You know, where I work at now, I've been there for like 11 years. And I make okay money and everything. But, I mean, it's just... It's not really fulfilling to me or rewarding, and that may sound kind of stupid and selfish because I'm lucky to have a job, which I am, especially in today's economy. It's, but if I go to school to better myself, then I should, then I should be all for it. And so should anybody who who knows me or you know who has anything to do with me personally wise. You know, I assume when I decided to do this, I, you know, I, the first thing I thought was my boss is not going to be happy with me. I said, but he should, he'll probably be, you know, be proud of me that that you know, I'm going to, going to go to school and better myself. And of course, I was wrong. And he did, he was so mad at me and gave me such a big hassle about it. And for a while there, I thought, you know, I'm gonna have to quit because they're not gonna let me. They're not gonna let me go. I mean, it's crazy. And he's like, you know, you can't go to school on my time. And I mean, if you work for me, you know, I hate to be rude about it, but that's how it is. And I'm like, well, I'm going to school at night. I just, you know, I can't travel anymore. That's what I told him because sometimes I would go on the road and have on what I on the on the kind of job I do. I, I work in the fabrication. Uh, company and uh, so sometimes I'd have to travel with, with the road group uh, and you know install what we what we made and uh, so I told him I couldn't travel no more and I would have to leave every day at like a break because you know my first class it you know start you know five o'clock four o'clock whatever the class would end up being starting at so I would have to leave from work a little early, so, you know, I, I didn't think that would be a problem. And especially since I've been there, a loyal employee for, like, like I said, 11 years. So, anyway, I was wrong. So I started looking around for another job, and I knew I was going to have to take a pay cut, and I really kind of was dreading it. Um, but I, I looked at it like if I back down and didn't go find me another job um, to, to, to make it where I could go to school, then I would just be suffering the same thing again. I'd just be holding myself back again. And instead of, instead of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Instead of, instead of taking the, the, the hard road, which would have a better ending, I was going to take the easy road. I looked at it and, and just be stuck in the same rut that I, that I was already, in, you know, stuck in. So apparently word got back to, to my boss and he was, you know, he was like, he come up to me and said, you know, look, I, I handled it wrong and I, I'm glad you're trying to better yourself. Um, I work with you best I can, uh, but maybe you'll you'll reconsider when you start going to school. Maybe you can take a management course and, and then you can you know, be the supervisor that I wanted you to be, because I, I was at one point, and I just got fed up with people's attitudes, and to me, it just wasn't worth it, um, and my personality, I, I hate being a hard, a hard ass about anything, it's ridiculous, I mean, a grown adult, a grown man, should not have to be forced to work, I, I, 
everybody's raised differently and to me I've always been raised to to be a hard worker and to do whatever job I'm doing with the, all the skill that I have to do it in and to to put pride in it even if it's a simple project so anyway he decided he would work with me so that's where we're at now and uh, he, he constantly he's like so so maybe you'll maybe you'll get a you know maybe after this semester you can take your management course because maybe you'll decide to stay on and everything. But I really I mean I, I want to do something that I, that I'm gonna be happy doing. I'm just bored with what, what I do now, and I like working on stuff. I work on my Mustang all the time, and I mean I, I have that in my nature. I'm a mechanic. I like tinkering with stuff. So. Um, I think this will be fun. I mean, so I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing good so far. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm kind of, kind of excited about the next semester. My next semester, um, I'll actually start all my my technical courses. Uh, this semester was just, you know, I had to take um, I, some of the courses I didn't finish before. They carried over. So I had to take an English an English class, so I took a speech class. Uh, I had to take a, a computer science class, so that's what I'm doing this semester. Well, next semester will actually, you know, start my actual technical, cor technical courses, electricity, uh, the actual mechanical aspects of my degree and everything, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, uh, anyway, I felt like uh, talking about that. I just had that on my mind. Just so, you know, and for anybody who might be going through the same thing, just uh, don't give up, don't don't back down. You know, you might have to take, uh, you might have to take the hard road, but in the end, that hard road's gonna make you a lot better off. When I, when I get my degree, I'm gonna have a lot better pay. I'll have better benefits than what I got now, which is almost nil. Um, and I'll be happier doing what I'm doing. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.